Hey, this is Practical Iper MD, and today I'm going to show you guys how to a how to replace a hard drive, a bad hard drive on a MacBook Pro. This is a 2009 MacBook 15 inch. The hard drive's bad, it's stuck on Apple. Um, the power's totally drained right now, so I'm just going to show you how to do it. All right, so what you need to do is have a regular screwdriver, and we're going to begin. All right, so this is the back of I, the bottom of the MacBook Pro 2009, All right, and this is I'm replacing it with a Crucial 240 gig solid state drive. Got this on Amazon for about 140 dollars, pretty good deal. This Crucial I recommend over Samsung mainly because of the read time and the price is a lot less than Amazon, than the Samsung drive also. All right, what we need to do is go ahead and pull the Go find a tray for me to put my screws in. We're going to work counterclockwise. All right. So when you turn on your MacBook and you have a Apple logo and it's staying on Apple for a long time. Most 90% of the time, it's always a bad hard drive that we need to replace. Okay, so now the screws are already been removed. Let's go ahead and remove, the, remove it. Okay, first thing we need to do with any hard drive is make sure you disengage the battery right here all right normally i would take out the battery but this laptop uh, the battery's completely drained out so it won't serve any do any damage to the um hard drive so this we can go ahead and access the hard drive okay This is a fairly simple fix. Okay, get the fastener out. Just lift up the hard drive. And so now, as you can see, just go ahead and just pull out the cable and now replace the hard drive with the new one. Okay. Of course, you need to also put the bracket where they belong so I'm taking the bracket holding brackets or holding pin from the old hard drive onto the new one And what you need to do after you replace this is, of course, uh, this is an empty hard drive, so you would definitely need to install the installation disk. Okay, and this, uh, so I say drive doesn't have a spinning part it should work a lot faster and you'll have no click of death no issue with the solid state drive the only problem that I heard is that if you do lose data it's because of electric shock or uh, a surge going into the laptop and that can well completely wipe out your data so um, this uh, however this will fix any hard drive issue you have but if you do have a electrical surge, you, it's a good idea just to 
have a backup, a cloud backup. Um, I use iCloud for mine, but you can get free backup from pretty much anywhere. You can get it from Amazon. You can get it from <coughs> um, Google. So make sure you back up all your crucial data on Google or iCloud before bringing it to a repair shop. Because once a hard drive is replaced, you're going to have a new computer. Alright, so now the pen is done. Let's go ahead. <coughs> this back in. Alright. Fasten it in place. It's as easy as that. Now you got A brand new solid state hard drive which will make your computer a lot faster since there's no hardly any seek time as opposed to the old hard drive all right so I'm going to go ahead and put all this back in and next I'm going to show you how to we're going to test the hard drive after I install the operating system back on and also I'll show you how to retrieve data from this bad hard drive. Alright, this is Prack with RPMD. Safe repair.